for these Braun fanboys. They think, oh, I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of the lies. These Braun fanboys, they think LeBron is the GOAT. The media brainwashed them into believing he's the GOAT. If you do your own research and stop believing who people on TV say the GOAT is, you'll know who the GOAT is. Do your own research. Stop listening to these, these clowns with their biased narratives, all meant for selling a product. That's what it's for. They're trying to keep a product of life alive that's been going down the tubes. Ratings have been dropping constantly. There's a reason for it. Because the game is not what they're marketing it as. They're trying to, they're trying to, every day, oh, you hear some new stat. Oh, this player is the first to, oh, and this player, and this player on, this is the first one on a, on a Tuesday to, to, to get uh, three rebounds in, in, in this quarter and then go to the bench and come back and get three more rebounds while also being 100% from three. Like, it's stupid. They're just making up stuff, making up stats, making up records and history. They're trying to say, oh, this game, the game is the best it's ever been. The game is the best it's ever been. The game is the best it's ever been. This, the players are so much more skilled. It's so much, it's a much more skilled era. It's a much more skilled era. The game is the best it's ever been. The game is the best. It's, these players are playing better than they've ever played before. These players are scoring higher than they have ever scored before. The game is the best it's ever been. The, the, the game is the, the, it's the best it's ever been. The game is, come on. Why are they constantly saying that? Don't you understand what you're watching? Don't you understand what these people are saying? The game is the best it's ever been. Why, they're trying to market it as such. So they're constantly putting in your face, shoving down your throat over and over and over. The game is the best, it's, the players are the best they've ever been. The era is the best it's ever been. Everyone's tuning in. Everyone, it's so exciting. It's a good time to be watching NBA basketball. They have a motive. People, like, let's look at the news. I'll give you the news for an example. All right. When you go on the news, just, just your regular local news, what, what do you see? What, what are they advertising? All right. We know what they're advertising. Bad news. Oh, there's a car accident. Three people died. Oh, this drunk driver hit this person. Oh, this person murdered someone. Oh, this child went missing. Oh, this lady was raped and killed. Oh, the, this uh, drug, a drug. This person on drugs died of a drug overdose. Oh, somebody got shot uh, the other day over in the grocery store. Oh, they're still investigating. They can't find the, the one who did it. Oh, it's just constant bad news, 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 bad news. Why, why do you think they do that? You never hear anything good. No good news. Just bad, 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 bad. And here's the weather. Bad, 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 bad. And here's sports. Bad, 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 bad. You know? Just all bad stuff. What's the point of that? What's the purpose? You don't even understand why they're showing you this over and over and over. People are tuning into the news. If the news didn't show you anything dramatic, anything bad like that, would you watch it? Would you watch the news? If the news was like, oh, the world is the best it's ever been. 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 Would you watch the news? Honestly. No. Because you know they would be lying. 
But now they're saying the world is, is the worst it's ever been. The world is the worst it's ever been. The world is the worst. Why do they do that? Why do they sell drama? Basically, they're making up, they're profiting off of drama. They're profiting off of fear. You see what I'm saying? And you keep tuning in. And you think you're being well informed. But it's biased. It's biased. They're profiting off of fear. It's the opposite when it comes to sports, especially for the NBA. These people, oh, oh, the game is the best it's ever been. The game is the best it's ever been. How come they never tell you any of the bad stuff? Hardly ever. And anything bad, they try to sweep it under the rug. They mention it briefly. Oh, yeah, well. <gasps> LeBron, he scored 40,000. Uh, yeah, they lost. Uh, uh, he scored, he uh, appreciate greatness. And, and uh, the game is the best it's ever been. And, and LeBron, he's, he's the best we've ever seen. Why do they constantly have to reiterate it over and over and over and over and over and over if it was true? If it was true, they wouldn't have to keep repeating it over and over and over and over. But then you look around. You got to look around. You got to analyze. You look on the news. They're always talking about how bad the world is. You step outside. You don't see nobody getting shot. You don't see nobody getting robbed. You, don't, you, you aren't experiencing this most of the time. Unless you're in a particular place where that kind of thing happens often, you know. But most people, they're not seeing that every freaking day. They're reporting it on the news every day. But the world really isn't in chaos. If you look outside, go outside, you know. The world isn't in chaos. Violent things aren't just happening at left and right. You, you, don't, you aren't afraid to step out of your home. You know what I'm saying? I go to the gas station at night, pump my gas. Of course, I'm vigilant. Of course, I check my surroundings. I'm aware. But I'm not particularly afraid something's going to happen. And it's the same thing. Everyone, you keep talking about how the game is the best it's ever been, but when you look at the ratings, the ratings are in a steady decline. They keep saying, oh, LeBron's the best player we've ever seen. You know, but look at the shoe sales. Michael Jordan is still beating everyone, and he hasn't played in over 20 years. He's still selling more shoes than everyone who is currently in the NBA year after year, and by a large margin. Still outselling everybody. Jordan brand is still the brand. And Jordan's shoes are still the shoes after all this time. Come on. Come on now. If you actually open your eyes, be aware of your surroundings, look at what's around you, it's easy to see. They're just capping, capping. LeBron is not the goat. He was never the goat. He can't be the goat. Every time I ask a Braun fanboy this, they never have anything to say. I, I promise you, they never, they never respond. I have t yet to this day never gotten a response to this question. For all these people who think LeBron is the GOAT, this question is still, still unanswered. Nobody answers it. To this day. <sighs> what does LeBron do on the court? What does LeBron do as a basketball player that you can visually see 
and add to your game and be a better player. That's the question. What does he have that you say, whoa, that was dope. I need to add that to my game. And you actually add it to your game and you be became a better player because of it. Does he make you better just by watching him? You see, I could watch Kobe. I grew up watching Kobe. I could literally watch the stuff he was doing, emulate the same stuff on the court, and be balling, you know? Of course, you got to work on your own shooting mechanics and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But what? once you have those mechanics down and you just watch him, and you just do the same same kind of stuff, the same kind of movements he does, you know, you're good offensively. What does LeBron do? What, what move does LeBron have that you can literally add to your game right now and be a better player because of it? Nothing. Nothing. He has no go-to moves. He has nothing. Nothing that you can add to your game. No, no signature anything. Because all of his signature moves, all they have to do with is his size, his weight, and how he just ram into people with his shoulder, move them out of the way, bump people out of the way, the only reason he gets to play the way he gets to play is because of his physical gifts. Not because of skill. Because of his physicality, his size, his athleticism. That's the only thing that allows him to do what he does. And if you don't have his height and his weight and his size and his athleticism, you can't do these moves. You can't. Kobe? You don't have to have his height. You don't have to have his weight and size. You don't have to have his athleticism. And you can pull off a lot of these moves without that. You don't have to, be, you don't have, to have all of Kobe's physical gifts to do a lot of these moves he does on the court. Or at least did on the court. Rest in peace, bro.